A Singapore civil defence force officer was nearly crushed as he tried to extricate the victim of the fatal traffic accident that sparked the Little India riot. The dramatic account came to light at the ongoing committee of inquiry into the riot. An SCDF officer was trying to extricate Mr. Sakthivale's body from under this bus as a boisterous crowd ignored instructions to back away and instead continued to push the vehicle. This caused the hydraulic jack that was lifting the bus to suddenly give way. The officer only just managed to get out in time. One of the first responders, Senior Station Inspector Akbar Ali, recounted what he witnessed today. He also told the committee that he was angry and frustrated when he saw two police cars being flipped on their sides. He said a group of foreign workers told the officers not to intervene as the crowd was violent and would not hesitate to harm them. Separately, a traffic police officer who directed seven others to get out of an ambulance and run explained to the committee that they had not done so out of cowardice. He heard the rioters threatening to burn the ambulance and evacuating was a tactical decision as he felt their lives were at stake. The committee also heard that not all the foreign workers who were present at the scene of the riot that night were hostile and some had even tried to help the police. For example, a group of workers carrying a bag that appeared to be on fire had tried to set a police patrol car ablaze but was stopped by others in the crowd. Two other officers also described how they stayed at the scene despite being outnumbered, including Staff Sergeant Kamisa Hanafi, who was hit in the stomach by a concrete slab. And traffic police officer Fadli Shaifuddin Mohammed Sani, who drew his baton and charged at a group of rioters several times to try and contain the situation. He was commended by the four-member committee who called his actions brave.